it's um really interesting that like no matter how like happy you are with where you are in your artist career and stuff like there's just gonna be like these cosmic ties that like really put things into perspective and like make you humble and just like cosmic forces that like want to help you grow because honestly like I I'm just so happy with um my body of work and like where I'm at but like sometimes I just get like so freaking anxious about like not being like at a certain place um like with my career and I think that like has nothing to do with like the art it's like more to do with like marketing and that's something like I put off marketing like so hard because I just um have so many things going on and um I'm not really passionate about marketing maybe I am I post on Instagram every day but it only reaches the people from my hometown, Hamilton, and I know that because I see it in my algorithm and I'm not really reaching the audience that I would like to because I don't know how to market myself and I think that's like okay. I think having these realizations are okay and I feel like sometimes just like I'm, I'm constantly like pushing and I feel that's like just part of my, my makeup. I'm very like get her done kind of person but like, sometimes I'm, I don't like think it through like in the smartest way of how it could get done so I feel that um just like recently I feel, felt like over yeah overwhelmed trying to like market as well as create the work and I've just had to slow down and realize that I might I might need to get some help with that because it's it's not easy like being a jack of all trades like at the moment I'm just finishing up my website and I can only spend like a little bit every day on it because um it takes so much energy but I think it's nice to break things up like that I'm that kind of person I like to break it up um, I'm almost done this painting because I'm getting a feeling of completion and that's like a good indicator that it's time to start wrapping up and to just soak in the details. So you can see that I kind of outlined um, in chalk. This is something that I do as like I outline, like I have it here, like places that I need to fill in so that I'm not overwhelmed. So I, I just, uh, kind of do an overview of what needs to be finished. Part of me kind of wishes that these were stars. I think I'm going to go over all these like little um, mushroom details, make it a little bit 3D, but it's about the experience of the colors all melded together. So yeah, this last week was pretty hard. Um, it actually, the last week wasn't hard. It was this one day, which was, um, the day before the other. And it just seemed that everything like hit the fan and I was like supposed to have this like breakdown and it really sucked because it felt really uncomfortable. It was like all like the bad feelings, crying, just like being exhausted from crying, like not being able to paint because I'm just not feeling creative whatsoever and so I had to sit with my feelings because I'm completely 
straight edge at the moment. Um, not drinking alcohol for the past 10 years and um, just like going on years of my second year of not smoking weed um, which I was never really like a big um, smoker but um, I really liked it but that's not the point um, I just like know in the past like as a teenager and stuff I would numb my pain with that and that's why a lot of um, a lot of kind of shadows got very deep in my subconscious so now I just have to sit with it and breathe into it and it hurts and it sucks it feels really raw and uncomfortable but it's so strange I just like I kept it breathing into it and just like acknowledging that it sucked and then like halfway through the day um, this was the day after I was crying all day and I could feel um, halfway through the day that it was gone and then I was like getting on the other side of it because I really just wanted to spend today painting um, because I am yeah the I wanted to spend today painting I haven't had like a nice big paint day in a while where I just do nothing but paint I also wrote a song today too. Well, I didn't write the full thing, but <laughs> I started it. to come and tell you a little bit about this painting and I'm um, just that I thought I would dress up for the occasion I wanted to tell you more about this painting so um, my best friend Allison she told me in art school that it's important in order to make an, a painting interesting is to juxtapose uh, things that wouldn't usually go together so my whole desire was to make a forest field full of mushrooms and I wanted to juxtapose that with a rabbit white rabbits and just a, um, having them blend in and then I juxtapose that with the trees with the eyes and I thought it would be interesting to just have these three simple elements instead of like putting too many flowers or anything so for me mushrooms obviously represent consciousness and uh, being able to open the doors of perception and as well as knowing that everything in nature has a consciousness. So it's exciting to uh, just like experience the forest, knowing that it's alive and breathing. And part of me feels that this is how nature views itself, just like bright and full of color uh, without the, without like the conditioning of humans who grew up in the cities who kind of have been schooled to think a certain way in nature it's just part of like their its dna like straight from the source of creation and it has a just like a really like earthy feel to it and the the earth is just like so colorful and beautiful and bright and magical and perfect in its chaos and just like it's so extremely beautiful with the sacred geometry that we find all over nature um i just really wanted to uh, to take this idea and make it big and just like inspire you to think about um, just how magical nature is when you're outside so uh, the cool thing about this one is that I also wanted to do like an image of mushrooms um, so I wanted to create like a wallpaper kind of design so I took a high quality picture of these mushrooms and then I put it on my iPad. I put them all on my iPad and I cut them out and I put them uniformly on here so they would all fit on this little uh, canvas. 
So this can be made into um, even bigger patterns and I'll show you how I did that. Took all the mushroom pictures and put it together. Whoops. Like that. Like that. And then um, I go to gallery canvas size, uh, crop and resize, reset, uh, settings. So this is 2048 times 2048. Oh man, I have to do math. So I just need to like use my calculator. Calculator. I have no clue where the calculator is on this. I'm sorry that I can't just do math. I'm actually, I'm really, really not good with numbers, even though I try. Sometimes I get numbers mixed up with letters. Um, and I think that's interesting that I've discovered. Okay. Okay, 2048, 48 plus 48, 60, 96, 96, 4096, 4096, oops, 96. Okay, so I actually did the math all right, I kind of guessed. Um, so I just wanted it to make it bigger so that I can duplicate this. And then select, and then with the snapping and magnetics on, it'll just go right together um, uniformly. And then I'm going to duplicate that again, select it, and it's just going to snap into place. So that's like a really, really cool um, mushroom pattern. So I found with the iPad that I really um, don't like painting on here. I like kind of designing things and uh, doing what I need to do, but I really like taking my paintings and then turning them into uh, wallpapers or like fabric patterns. And this is what I created with the mushrooms from this piece by uh, importing them into the program and isolating them and organizing them. And this is just an example of uh, what it's gonna look like at the end. And it all came from this canvas and paint. So it's amazing what you can do with a little bit of paint and a little bit of canvas. Thanks for joining me. Have a great week and I can't wait to show you my next painting.